When we're at sea, we obviously don't have any access to shore power to be able to uh, plug into uh, power and fire up all the systems that we have on board. So we need to be able to make our own power when we're at sea. Um, the systems that we've got on board are navigation, computers, uh, we've got a lot of communication systems, uh, satellite communication so that we can talk to race control. Uh, we've got a number of media uh, cameras on board, microphones, etc., so that uh, we can record uh, the action on board. Um, but as well as that, we've got simple things such as lights, fans, um, you know, stuff that's going to make life on board a lot nicer. So we try to be cautious with leaving lights on, you know, leaving fans on if you're not in your bunk, that sort of thing, um, and making sure you power down any equipment that you're not using so that we're not drawing unnecessary power. We have a diesel engine which uh, we use to power up uh, two lithium batteries that we have on board um, via the two alternators. So the girls on deck are going to fire up the engine. It's uh, got a remote start from on deck. And here we go. Generally I would charge around twice a day for about 45 minutes and uh, at the same time we would make water because that's one of the biggest power consumptions that we, we have on board is, is making water. So we try to do that at the same time as the charge so effectively we've got free power to the water maker. Underneath here is the, the, one of the batteries and also the water maker. And then uh, there's a valve here that we tighten that and then I can start to see the pressure rising in the system and then we can monitor how much water we're making. And uh, the only thing that we do with this at sea in terms of maintenance is to change one of the filters. So about once a week we would change the filter out just to make sure that the quality of the water is good enough for, for drinking. That's all good and we're making water. The last thing to do is a taste test.